What's up, everybody? So guys, because it is officially October, it's only right that we bring in the month sharing some of our favorite scary movies we talking about from the best scary movies to the worst to the goriest and all that in between and while we'll be discussing all of these movies we also have a wonderful dish full of Ooh, pizza spaghetti yum so with all that being said guys let's jump right into this video So for me, the first scary movie that I ever saw, we would have to go back to The Exorcist. Now if we go back to the last movie night mukbang that we did, I was telling you guys that one of the scary movies I watched that messed me up was The Exorcist. That was also the first scary movie that I can remember going back into my deep early memories, The Exorcist. The first scary movie I can remember ever seeing was The Amityville Horror. Mm. which came out in 1979 and it was really really scary like I was young when I saw this movie um I don't think I slept for about a week what's your first scary movie you ever saw Shani okay okay that was scary too yep yeah. All of the Lee Whannell movies, the Lee Whannell movies that I know, like um, the Insidious movies, completely scary. Some of y'all might be like, ah, Insidious not even that scary. To me, the Insidious movies and Saw, oh my gosh. I can't watch those. I, I don't like to watch those by myself. I wouldn't prefer to watch those by myself and I'm not going to watch those by myself. There's a few scary movies that I can't watch alone. Number one being Hellraisers. Never seen it. So scary. Hellraisers is definitely one that I can't watch alone. Silent Hill. Oh, I don't like to watch those movies alone. Silent Hill. Oh my gosh. The sound effects they use for that movie definitely play with your mind when yeah. you're watching it, especially in the dark. Oh my goodness. And arachnophobia. I need somebody to hold on to when I'm watching arachnophobia. Like Ugh. I don't know if you watched it all the way through. Yeah, but... with you. Ugh. It's one of those, I need to hold your hand, I need to hold your hand, type of movie. I don't really watch a lot of zombie movies, but the ones that I do like are all of the Resident Evils. I love the Resident Evil movies, pretty creeped out watching those. And we're gonna have to go back to Silent Hill. I can't even remember the last time I seen that movie. My favorite zombie movie? And I actually love zombie movies, so I have a few. The first one would have to be The Crazies. Mm. If you've never seen The Crazies, check it out. It's a really good zombie movie. And the next favorite, they're actually um, part one and part two. And that's 28 weeks, 28 days, and then 28 weeks. Definitely zombie movies you should check out. Now it's a few of these for me because it's a lot of scary movies that just are not scary but are supposed to be scary. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about scary movies that are actually supposed to be scary, not comical like the scary movies with the Wayne's Brothers, mm -hmm. actual scary movies. All the Nightmare on Elm Streets. I'm sorry but those movies just do not scare me. They like creep me out, Freddy Krueger creepy looking but he is funny to me. I agree. He is funny. I laugh a lot watching those movies. Harry. The 2013 version, no, not the original, the 2013 version. I just could not take her mom seriously. She was just weird to me. Like, in the original, the mom was real creepy and scary. But in the 2013 version, she was just odd. She was funny odd. And all of the Jeepers Creepers movies. Jeepers Creepers is hilarious to me with his funny looking self. I think number one for me is going to have to be Gremlins. Ha! <laughs> I will never forget watching Gremlins toward the end of my pregnancy with her. Some stuff was not even funny. Yes, but she it was. was. <laughs> it because it was that funny when that Gremlin came out with those leg warmers on. <laughs> I'm talking about she ugly laugh. Another one I would definitely have to say makes me laugh out loud is Leprechaun. Oh yeah, if you have never seen a Leprechaun movie. <laughs> And honorable mention to all of the Chuck movies. 
Not to be confused with Child's Play. Chucky and all of the sequels afterwards that were Chucky movies were hilarious. I mean, I could those were movies I couldn't take seriously. Like, never been really scared of those either. If I ever saw a toy or a doll come to life, we bang it. Yeah. Just period. I'm not about to get haunted. Get ready to bang. <laughs> period. You're not running me out of my house. Period. We're going to take it all the way back to Carrie. When I first ever seen Carrie, I was so creeped out. I was so scared. And I kept hearing that part where the mama was like, They're all going to laugh at you. I just kept hearing that everywhere. I was in the bathroom, in your everywhere. And especially because that's what kept playing in Carrie's mind. Once all that blood was on her, everybody was in. Not even everybody was laughing, but she, she thought everybody it. was laughing. And that kept playing like. She snapped. She and those know. eyes. What's her name? The actress that played Carrie? CC Sissy? Space Act. Sissy Space Act. Okay. That's her name. She had the perfect face for that movie because her eyeballs and how she kept them so wide and expanded. Mm mm mm. Yeah, Carrie was creepy. Yes. Pet Cemetery. I like Pet Cemetery. Oh, wow. JD's Revenge. Bruh. JD's Revenge. This is also a movie that Ever I can put in. I introduced this girl to JD's Revenge. She been cool. And this is a movie that I can actually put in movies that made me die laughing. Yes. Because she JD's was Revenge weak watching is that. JD's Revenge is definitely, um, it's a thriller movie. But it made me laugh a lot. It was so funny, especially the car scene. Just type in JD's Revenge taxi scene and... You will see what I'm talking about. It's, oh it, you can definitely. It's an old school movie. How it was she shot. made tears come out of her eyes laughing at that scene. Like she laughed so hard, I was just looking at her like. Yes, but it's one of my favorite old school movies. So check that movie out. One of my favorite old school movies, and it's a series, is Friday the Thirteenth. Mm -hmm. I love the Friday the Thirteenth movies. Jason, that's my boy, cause he can mess you up up close, <laughs> real quiet, from a distance. He'll take something like this wine glass and he'll watch you running from him. And he'll let you get real far. And then he'll toss it. And he'll toss it with so much force that the wine glass will bust your head, go through your head, out your eyes, <laughs> and you'll be dead. That's, That's what Jason. Also, I love the Predator movies. Great old school scare, especially the old school Predators. I ain't seen in a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. My number one favorite old school is Poltergeist. Mm, Poltergeist. I love Poltergeist. I consider it a psychological thriller as well because if you put yourself in that situation where you have to decide between your sanity and not being haunted <laughs> or terrorized by ghosts and your child that got kidnapped by yeah. the house, like, decisions, decisions. I have posed this question to different people while and after watching Poltergeist. Would you stay? Would you get Would you get a shiny out the house or would you leave? I was just about to say, I mean, of course, just, that's my baby. I'm not going to want to leave this house right. without my baby. But the house tan you up while like you try to get it out. Like I'm but you're going to stay? Because I'm not leaving my baby. For my baby, I'm staying for my baby. Like, I'm going to be so angry that it's got my baby. I can hear her calling for me. So, yes, I'm going to stay. Oh, I'm staying for my baby. It's me in this house. It's on. One of my favorite psychological thrillers is The Shining. I remember you used to talk about The Shining all the time. You would tell me, it's this movie you got to watch. It's called The Shining. You would really like it. That movie really creeped me out. Mm -hmm. Really. I was scared of twins for a little bit. Come and play with us, Daniel. After I saw The Shining, it, it made me scared of like long hallways. Mm -hmm. Like you in like a, a classroom, like yep. a school building or a apartment building or a hotel. And you just see like this long hallway with doors. Off. It, you just instantly think of The Shining. It's yes. right there in your mind. The It movies, both the early 90s and the version that came out in 2017. I haven't seen the new version that just came out this year, but I plan on seeing it. And as you guys can see, I'm a big Stephen King fan. I think he writes the best creepy movies, scary movies. That's my favorite thing. I love creepy, scary movies, scary stories. I used to write my own. And Stephen King is my favorite writer. 
Is by you always was creepy to me. Being able to have visions and see things and even death, you know, for people that you love and not really having any control over how you see it or the way you see it so you can't control the circumstances is creepy. Just that whole movie had a real creepy thriller type of vibe to it and I always have enjoyed it. We also can't forget about, we need to talk about Kevin. If you have not seen We Need to Talk About Kevin, it's on. it was on Netflix when we watched it. It's probably still on Netflix. Go watch We Need to Talk About Kevin. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't going to even go into detail about that movie. We Need to all Talk I'm About gonna Kevin. All I'm going to say is once you see it, you, you can't unsee it. I already got a weak stomach, so I'm going to try my best to keep my appetite while we talk about this particular category. But some of the goriest movies, because I know it's a lot out there, one of the number one goriest movies that I've ever seen would have to be the Saw movies. Those yes. movies are, oh my gosh. Just too much. Saw too much. It's, it's too much. Everything you have to do to survive oh and those goodness. contraptions that he has you in, it's just... Ugh. And um, the Final Destination movies. Yeah, those are pretty Like, rough. those deaths and the way they die and just, it's so graphic. And watch one of the Final Destination movies, I can't even remember which movie it was, but it was the scene where the girl broke her legs in gymnastics and that's why I was so scared to do gymnastics because, <laughs> like the way she broke. It was bad. It was bad. Mm. It had me scared of roller coasters for yeah. It had me scared to live regular life. Like, yeah, uh, everything the ceiling fan gonna fall off. your final destination. My head like, is gonna <laughs> chop off. It's Wake up with your final destination. Like, Oh my God. <laughs> for me, the goriest scary movies I've ever watched are Hellraisers. Like, this is another movie I cannot really go into detail about because Anaya has not seen Hellraiser yet but she is in for a lot of gore and you know typically we don't watch gory movies but she's gonna have to endure so that she can see and experience hellraiser because you need to see and experience that movie yeah i guess so just i'm judging the book by its cover the the case or the images i've seen of hellraiser don't really look that scary to me so i can't see it being that scary but i mean it's movies from back in your time back in your day that's done creeped me out so maybe hellraiser might be one of those movies she is so disrespectful but it's cool comment down below and let me know if you have seen hellraisers and if you feel the same way i feel that um it'll do something to you once you've seen it and it's pretty gory uh, don't even say gore i have food in my mouth and you said gore that's how weak my stomach is well you eating mummy guts <laughs> Cut. I'm sure you're gonna agree with me on this, but the worst horror film that I think I've ever seen is Hush. Like, Hush. That movie was so stupid. It's on Netflix, and I have to say, it was a waste of my life. I wouldn't. Hush would definitely be one of the movies in this category. But it wasn't like, oh, it's just so terrible. Like, no, nobody it was, watch oh, it. Oh, it's just so terrible. I thought it was terrible. <laughs> this is another one I could put in the category for, <laughs> for laughing. I mean, just it just didn't make sense to me. Like, you got this girl who's deaf, so she yeah. can't hear. And she's living basically in the woods by herself. Like, that just makes no sense to me. And, and the, the, the killer... What was his purpose in even killing her? Just he had just, no purpose, and she had no purpose, and the movie had no purpose. <laughs> Trash. Another horrible, scary movie for me would have to be The Boy. <laughs> that movie was so dumb, like so dumb. First of all, it took forever for something to even happen. Like they had a lot of suspenseful music. But it took forever for anything really creepy to happen. And then once you finally get through the movie and you get to the end, me, I my agree. mom, and my dad, we all sat there at the end of that movie like. <laughs> um, That's a movie that if I would have paid to go see that, I would have got up and walked out of the theater like I'm ready to go. <laughs> the boy was trash. Trash. <laughs> she didn't even see it and she agreed. Oh, guys, how could I forget to mention 
I am a biker chick. Biker chick. I think my I lipstick is coming that. off, but I'm a biker chick. We got a little princess right here, of course. Princess Ashani. And I am the red queen. Cutting red queen. Give me red queen vibes. Sometimes when she look over real stern like that, I feel like she better off with my head. But I guess you know that's what red queen do. Off with the head. I felt that. I felt that. Lastly, for me, one of the worst horror, not this is not even horrors, thriller, drama thriller, would definitely be The Lovely Bones. I read the book. I believe I read the book. Or I read the book halfway and then I watched the movie. And I did not like it. Like, I did not like the fact that this 14-year-old girl set herself up for failure. At 14 years old, it should just be common sense to not agree to meet up with she didn't meet up with the guy. He was in this field. What was it, a cornfield? And he so-called built a chill spot for all the teenagers underground. And it's nobody around. It's just her and him. She was in enough distance to just run home and take off. When he, if he would have said that to me, I would have took off. And I would have told my father, like, um, the neighbor guy next door told me he built a clubhouse underground for the teenagers. And he wanted me to check it out. Can you say something to him? He would have immediately went found dude and whooped his Yes, I, I I did not like that. So she's narrating the the she was narrating the whole story, but afterwards, like she's narrating it because she was murdered, and I didn't like that. I just felt like she was old enough to make a different decision. Like why would I agree? I just didn't like it. I would have to give it a. They thumbs. should change the title of that movie from The Lovely Bones to Common Sense Ain't Common. The Red Queen. My favorite animated scary movie would have to be Monster House. Monster House, yeah. I love that movie. Mm -hmm. I think it is just creepy enough to scare kids, but not creepy enough to terrify kids and give them nightmares. I mean, we actually live a real Monster House life. Like, our house wow. is not haunted or anything, but our neighbor next door, he is actually the real life never cracker. Like, you can't even look at his grass without him feeling some type of way about it. I actually have a few favorite spooky animated films. Mm -hmm. My number one, and I'm so glad I remembered this, is um the Ronald McDonald movie called Scared Silly. Do you remember that? No, that's not ringing the bell. It's Ronald McDonald and his crew. They all went to this spooky house. Um... <laughs> They all went to this little spooky house and all this creepy stuff. It used to scare me. It, I had wow. this on tape. Okay. How so old is I had this on tape? VHS people. If you've seen the Ronald McDonald scared silly movie, comment down below and let me know because that was one of my faves. <laughs> Of course, Coraline and the Nightmare Before Christmas. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. And they call me Santa Claus. <laughs> and that movie used to make me emotional when all Jack was trying to do was deliver the presents to the children and they shot him up out the sky. And when they <laughs> cut the scene onto him, he was laid out on that statue like. <laughs> I used to cry like, yeah, he ain't want to do nothing but just. Be Santa Claus. Be Santa Claus. That's it. He was just scary with it. Just scary, Santa. Misery, misery, misery. I only seen that movie one time. I only plan on seeing that movie one time because the scene that made it so I only want to watch that movie one time replays in my head <laughs> all the time. It was too graphic yeah, was for me. About that scene. It was too graphic for me. I. It was. It was a good movie. Don't get me wrong. It was good horror thriller movie also a stephen king movie but i would not watch that movie again and the lovely bones that's not a movie that i want to watch over and over again i don't want to watch her set herself up for failure so those are horror thrillers thrillers that i can only watch one time well for me saw saw mm -hmm. once didn't want to see it again i could i could watch those again as long as i'm with somebody i can watch those again um hellraiser I think I saw Hellraiser twice, but that was enough. Like, I mean, like Anaya said about Saw, if I'm with somebody, like, because she's never saw the Hellraiser movies, I would sit and watch it again, but it's not something that I would pick on my own because it's freaking scary. Now, it's a lot of them, so the list can go on and on and on and on, but some of my top favorite 
horror thriller scary movies of all time would probably have to be the insidious movies those movies really scare me like really those are also movies i can't watch by myself they creep me out although the nun we just watched the nun yeah. the other day it's not an insidious movie but it's by the same writer uh the nun actually wasn't scary it wasn't. It wasn't scary. But the Insidious movies, the, those movies really creep me out. Right now, for me, my favorite's gonna have to be The New Child's Play. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's pretty creepy. They did change what Chucky looks like, but that makes it creepy. And the whole um, ideal of him being like, you know, connected to technology and just the way they play that out. It's really creepy. I wouldn't want nobody to bring me home up to all like that. Like, who's I this? I mean, I'm already um, not with the whole Siri, Alexa. So you're definitely not gonna bring so, me little that Siri in a, in a doll humanoid version. Like, just follow I'll me, pass. watching me while I sleep. Learning me, learning about me, I'll pass. Yeah, like, no thank you. There are a lot more that we could add into all these different categories, but that will just lead us to be talking forever and ever and ever, and we don't have the time. But to all those movies that we talked about for the different categories, comment down below and let us know what the best was, the worst, the goriest, and all that in between. Comment down below and let us know. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new, and if you aren't new, welcome back. Thank you for coming back, and we will see you guys in another video.